Hey everyone, um, so for this week um, I'm attempting to do a kindergarten lesson and which is fun so we uh, we will see how uh, this goes <laughs> but it's over um, what exactly animals and plants need to survive. Um, we've um, thinking that whenever I started to write this lesson I would thought of the fact this is probably a less like after a conversation about what makes plant and animal already living. So we've moved on from that a little bit. And so this is the higher discussion is now instead of what makes it living, how does it live? And so that is the, the movement. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to start. Hey all, today we're going to continue our lessons on living versus non-living things. So just let it, let's go over it real quick. On Monday we went over how animals are living and Tuesday we went over how plants are living, remember? But today we're going to focus on how both animals and plants, like how are they alive? So before that, uh, what did we decide was a living thing? Can you tell me? Cool. It's something that can breathe air, have kids, move, have senses, grow, eat, and produce waste. Yes, that's it. So today we're going to focus on the how. How does an animal or plant live? What does it need to live? So my question for uh, you all is here on this board. What do you wonder and what do you notice about these photos in relation to how does an animal live? So, okay guys, are you guys ready to go over your answers? Yeah? So, um, some, what, are your, what do you notice? Uh, your table speaker, can you give me your uh, instruction, what you think? Okay. Uh, it's a dog with a stick. Good observation. Um, and yes, it's in the forest, and it's green. It's very, very pretty. So... And what do you guys wonder? Is the stick a living thing? Good question. Um, but we're going to focus on that on a different time. But today I wanted to ask you all in your groups to discuss and figure out what an animal and a plant needs to live. So this photo does show a few of these things, but you might want to think out of the box too. So um, once your group has uh, three things for plants and three things for animals, we're going to talk and we're going to go over a little bit more. So, um, in each of your group, um, I'm going to just give you copies of this slide so you guys can see it a little bit better. And, um, yeah, you guys got five minutes to discuss. All right, everyone, so let's go over your answers. I'm just going to write them on the whiteboard. So, So, everybody, everybody is good? So we have actually the same answers now for both plants and animals. So we have that both plants and animals need sun, air, and water. That's really cool, guys. You, you nailed it. That, that's perfectly good. So now I want to go over with you um, like two, a couple more items. So plants have two more items, while an animal only has one more item that it needs to live. So in addition to uh, sun, air, and water for plants, plants also need soil and space to grow. Can anyone tell me why these might be factors in how a plant lives? Without soil, it can't gain food nutri or, or nutrients? Good. What about space? You guys don't really know? That's okay. We didn't really talk about it much, but some plants need so much nutrients that they can't be side to side to one another or they can't eat. Think of really old trees. Have you ever noticed that they can't grow right next to each other? That's because they need space to grow and be able to get food. Yeah? So that is why plants need space. So just, just to recap real quick, plants need sun, air, water, soil, and space to grow. They, they have these five factors. So moving on to animals. So we, we talked about animals with sun, air, and water. Yeah. 
but animals also need shelter. <laughs> yes, I know that that seems a little obvious to y'all now, and I I think it it it's funny for me. <laughs> so anyway, most animals need a spot to sleep and be safe. For example, you guys don't want to be caught out in the cold, would you? No. All right. So um, we're gonna. I have this really cute video that explains a little bit more about how to plant and an animal need to live. And so I'm gonna call you out of the carpet and let's watch this video. Also, really realistically, you might wanna watch a few seconds of this video because it's really, really cute. All right, everybody, how was the video? Does that help? Was the dog really cute? Yes, the dog was adorable. Um, so I have this activity and let's go over this activity together. So everybody is going to answer uh, a question in this activity. So what we're going to do is we're going to have um, the people sitting in the A seat of each of your tables. They're going to give their answer for it. And then the next question, everybody in the B seat is going to give their answer. And we'll go on like that. But hold, we'll, we'll work it out a little bit more. So um, let's jump right in. All right, guys. Um, now that we've done this activity together, um, I have a bunch of paper right here, and I want you to draw me a picture. So, and one half of the picture, um, it's going to be your plants, and another half of the photo is going to be your animals. And I want you to draw me, uh, all the things that a plant and an animal need to survive. So, um, I'm going to hang all the drawings up on your wall, and I'm going to pass out this paper now.